Hi, this is Luke with Hot Wax and Cool Vinyl. Uh, welcome back to another in, uh, of our Discogs tutorials. Uh, this is the third Discogs tutorial uh, that we'll be doing. This one will be discussing folders and custom fields. Uh, if you have not seen the first two, uh, which was the introduction to Discogs, and the second uh, tutorial is cataloging uh, or how to catalog, you may wish to just take a quick look at those uh, before coming back to view this one. Um, so let's get right to it. Uh, if we go to our collection, you'll see in this particular case we're going to be using David Bowie's debut record um, to utilize as an example. Uh, when you add an album to your collection, you'll see that it comes up, the green box comes up with the default options you have on your folders. I just removed the second one for, because there's no need to have two in this collection. Uh, first option is again our default. You'll have the media condition. Options are from mint to poor. Same holds true for sleeve condition. Uh, notes is not a drop down menu but rather a text menu. Uh, folders is also a text menu uh, as opposed to a drop down. Uh, yours will only have one folder for some reason I added a second folder option to this particular um, tutorial. So how do we go back and actually work with our folders and our fields? Well for that we have to go back to collection and if you look once you're at your, your collection page, you'll see that you have manage folders and manage custom fields. We'll start with the fields because those are the ones that um, are generally used more so than the folders. Um, once you start looking at your fields, you have these options. Um, you can add or remove as you see fit. Uh, for example, let us say that I want to include uh, another category of record uh, for my grading purposes um, and you want to include a good minus um, or a fair plus. So let's go here, you simply enter good minus. Uh, if you want to parenthesize, by all means, go right ahead. Um, and it's there. You can remove, for example, if you are not going to carry any poor records in your collection, Simply remove that. Uh, same holds true for the following options on your record sleeve condition. Your notes. Um, it's currently set up as a default to three lines. You can add four lines, you can add five, depending on how detailed you want your notes to be. I generally keep it at five. I like to expand because those are the notes are what I use when I'm at a record shop, a thrift store, or a swap meet. Uh, and I need to know what condition the record I'm looking at is in comparison to the one that might be in my collection is it better is it worse etc uh, the other option you have here is folders um, folders you can use depending on what kind of folders you, you want uh, it's a drop down menu uh, right now blank we'll get into the folder options and how to utilize them a little bit later on now you can also add a field in this particular case simply clicking the add a field here um, and enter what your field wish to be. Uh, in this particular case, I like to know how much I paid for a record. Um, it gives me an idea of whether I spent too much, too little in comparison to Discogs medium price. So I generally add paid. Um, I don't use a text, I use a text menu, not a drop down menu because there's no actual set criteria uh, to a record. I mean, sometimes you're lucky and you buy a collection where the average price of each record turns out to be 20 cents. Um, if you're at a record show and you come across a pristine copy of one of your Holy Grail records, it may cost you $100 uh, or more. Uh, so I leave that as a text option. Uh, the other thing I like to do is location, where I bought the records. Do I have a favorite thrift store? Do I have a favorite yard sale? In this case, I actually use a drop-down menu uh, because that makes it easier. I, generally speaking, your locations are finite. Uh, did you go, was it a yard sale? Was it a thrift store? Was it your favorite thrift store? Was it your favorite record store? So ABC Records, let's say that is your favorite record store. 
uh, you can add that in there. It's a great way to follow uh, where you're getting your best finds. Uh, a lot of times, it's um, it's a great way to sort through. I mean, if you know that ABC Records always has one or two great pieces that you've been able to buy time and time again, um, you'd go there. Uh, more than you would go to your thrift store where maybe you only found one record every six months that's worth keeping. Um, so once you've added or removed whatever fields you wish, you simply hit save fields and return to our collection. Let's take a look if they are there. Here's our David Bowie album and all our fields are here. You can edit them as you see fit. You'll see that um, the paid field is now there. The location field is now there. Um, if you go to media condition, you'll see the do good minus option that we entered is also there. Folders is our next list. Going back to collections, here we have manage folders. Uh, folders are a great way to, to sort your stuff. Again, you can be as vague or as finite or as anal as you wish, so to speak. Uh, I don't utilize the folders very often. A lot of my stuff is uncategorized. The one area that I use my folders in is in folder size, whether it's 45, 78, uh, or 33s. My, I leave my albums usually uncategorized, and I keep my 45s in one section, my 78s in another folder. It makes it for easy access, and I'll show you that in a second. Um, once you go back to collection, uh, if you look at the folders, all one, that means you're on categorized folder. If you look down, drop down menu, you'll see that you have 45s. If you can add another folder to it. Let's do that now. Let's go back to manage folders. Uh, let us add a folder here. Let's add 78s. And you simply click add a folder and presto, it's there. Now, if you want to add something to a folder, well, that's easy as well. David Bowie. Here's where we, we've entered David Bowie in our collection. We want to put it in a folder. Okay. We can edit that down, and you can add it into a folder there. That way, go to folders and add to the folder that you wish to have it on. In this case, let's say we want to put it in 45s, we'll add it to the 45s, uh, and that would then be in your folder for 45s, 78s, or what have you. Uh, again, I don't utilize folders as much. Uh, I keep my list alphabetized. Uh, it does tend to make it a little easier for me. What I use more than, uh, than anything else is my notes aspect and my paid. My notes, uh, again, it makes it very easy for me. I find the record. If, I, if I'm looking at a copy of Sgt. Pepper's, uh, I have several different copies of it. I look at my notes. I find out whether or not this particular copy is better than the one I have at home, and it helps. It guides me as to whether or not I wish to buy it. You can use whatever feels most comfortable for you to use. Uh, again, you can get as detailed uh, as or as vague as you wish. Um, hopefully, you find this helpful. Uh, if you did, please leave a comment. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I love our vinyl community, and hopefully I can add something to it as well. So until next time, have a great day, and we'll see you soon.